I think anybody who has been in business for any amount of time has run into a situation where where you have a customer, you have a client who's just not paying promptly. Maybe they seem to be dragging you on. They're they're promising that they're going to give you more and more business. Just just sit tight and you know what? They're not paying their invoices. And over time, this definitely will affect your bottom line because it's going to affect your cash flow. It's going to affect your ability to make your payments to your suppliers. So in this video, what I thought I'd do is I thought I would just tell you how to get a customer, a client to pay you. I'm gonna share some of my experience, share some tips that I know can help you. I'll share those tips right after this break. Come on. Welcome back to Side Hustle Rules. My name is Lou Reyes. In this video, I'm going to tell you how to get a client to pay you. We've all gone through those, those situations where you have a client, somebody you're dealing with, somebody's promising you, hey, I'm going to give you more and more business. Just sit tight. I'll get to you. I'll get to your invoices. But you know what? Often happens is they just drag you on and on and there is a way there's a, a real simple way to to work with a client like this to deal with this situation i'm going to be telling you about that before i get too deep into the video though i just want to mention that in the description box i have a link to my free side hustle starter kit my side hustle starter kit is something that I created. I created it walks you through the eight steps that virtually every single entrepreneur has had to take when they want to start a business, whether it's a side hustle or a full-time business. There's a link to that side hustle starter kit in the description box. So now let's get into our video. Like every small to medium size to giant size business, we've all been in a situation where they don't pay their invoices or maybe what they do is they just trickle in the, the payments to you. And when they trickle them in, I, I just think sometimes I think it's even more frustrating than not getting a payment at all because you're you're always looking at the accounts receivable, you know what's outstanding, and then they trickle in these little payments and it's just it just gets frustrating. So there's two ways you can handle the situation. Number one is you can call them on the phone. I don't email. I would call them on the phone and ask for the payment, and I'll tell you how to do that. Or what you can do is wait for that next order to come in. And when it does come in, you have them on the phone, you have that person on the phone, and then at that point you can deal with them, you can talk to them. But but I do wanna mention that whenever a situation like this happens, it's just basically negotiating. And what I found over the course of, of time is that any negotiation is really just what I consider a discovery, discovery session. You are trying to discover what that situation is, what the problem is, and why that you know why you're not getting paid. So you're not in a battle, and it's just best not to think of it as a battle. It's just, hey, this is a negotiation. I need to find out what's what's going on here. So let's talk about the first situation where you're not being paid. You're waiting for those payments to come in, and you finally say, you know what I've got to do? I've just got to give them a call and find out what's happening. So you call the person who is responsible, the, the, the decision maker, whether it's the person in finance or whether it's the manager that you're, that you're talking to on a, on a semi-regular basis. So you call them on the phone. And what I would do, and this is my experience and in, in how, I, how I would do it, how I've done it, how I've done it many, many times, is I would call them on the phone and I'd say, hi, Joe. I uh, just wanted to give you a call. You know, I, I love working with you guys. It's just such a great experience for for me and, and for my company. And I'm very, very thankful for the, the work that we get from you. But how can I continue working if I'm not being paid? So that's exactly how I would say it. That's how I would say it. How can I continue working for you if I'm not being paid? Now, when you do that, what you're immediately doing is you're acknowledging the situation. This is a situation. I'm, not, I'm, I'm working for you. I'm not getting paid. And then what you're doing is you're putting the onus of coming up with a solution on that person. Now, you just don't say anything. You've already said it. How can I continue? Now, it's up to them to come back to you and explain what the situation is. And oftentimes, what I found 
is they'll say to me, and I've had this said many times, is, hey, Lou, we're just having some cash flow issues, and I'm sorry that it's got to this point. Uh, let me look into it, and I'll call you right back. And I find, I do find, when, when a, a supplier tells me I'll call you right back, usually they get right back to me. If it's not that day, it's the next day, but they get back to me. And they explain the situation. And then it's up to me to figure out how I want to proceed. Because if they say, you know, Lou, I looked into this. And the problem is our cash flow is very tight. And we're just able to pay so much. So can I pay you 50%? Can I pay you 25%? And then what I would do, if it's me, I'm saying, well, you know, Joe, it, it, it seems like there is a, an issue there. And I, I do understand that you're, you're, you're having this problem. And I want to work with you. As, as I mentioned, it's important to me that I, that I work with you. I think that you're, you're, you've always been a good customer for me, a good client, and I'm very appreciative of it. But I, I really do, I need to get these invoices paid in full because it is impacting my ability to, to pay my suppliers. And then I, then I don't say anything. Again, I'm leaving it up to them to come up with the solution to the problem. And more often than not, again, they will come up with a solution. So he's already said, hey, I can pay you a portion of the, of the invoices. And, and I've already I've let him know that you know, that's not really going to work for me. So now it's up to him to come back, he, he or she to come back to me and let me know what they're going to do. But again, I'm just putting the onus on coming up with a solution back to them. And what I have found often, more often than not, is they will come up with a solution. Sometimes what happens is they will delay me and say, well, you know what, let me, let me see what I can do and let me call you back. So now this is a second or maybe even a third time during phone conversations. But I've been very, I've, I've really demonstrated empathy. I, I've let them know I understand your situation, but I want to put it on them to come up with a solution. So that's my suggestion when you are calling someone. Now, if a supplier is calling me to place an order, and I know they're already behind three, four invoices, whatever that amount of invoices are, if they're calling me and asking me for the, for, uh, to, to telling me, hey, I want to give you, I need some, some work done. What I'm saying is, same word, I'm using the same phrase, how can I? Joe, I, I really, I'm so happy you're calling me. I'd love to do this work for you, but how can I when I've got some outstanding invoices? Again, I'm acknowledging the situation. Simultaneously, I'm asking them to come up with a solution. I'm not coming up with a solution. I'm asking them to. And usually, quite often, this is the best way to do it because you're saying, I love working with you. It's important. You guys are great clients. But how can I continue to work if I'm not being paid? Simple, simple way of collecting your money. So that's my advice. If you've got a client who is just not paying you, they're, they're dragging their feet, you want to continue to work with them, just all you have to say is, hey, how can we continue to, how can I do this? How can I do this? If I'm not being paid, that's all you got to do. Well, if you do have any questions, I'm looking forward to hearing your your uh, your questions. If you have any comments, please go ahead and submit them in the comment section. And I do want to remind you, I do have my free side hustle starter kit in the description box. There's a link. Click on that link. It's yours for free. Well, as I always say, have a great day, everybody. Come on. Come on.